all right guys good morning welcome back to another video so 7 30 right now just got out on the water and i am excited for today we got warm weather and i've got an interesting topic for today's video so i did some research on amazon i've seen lots of amazon uh, basically review videos on youtube and all sorts of different uh topics and stuff like that not a whole lot in fishing though so i went on amazon i typed in best saltwater lure and the Pretty much the, fir the first listing was for what I have here in this pouch. These are shrimp lures, and they caught my eye immediately because they looked pretty good. Like, it wasn't some cheapy thing like you see a lot on, on Amazon. It, was, it looked pretty dang good. They looked really good. So I, I bought them. There were 20 bucks for a pack of six of them. That's pretty cheap. I think that's, what, um, like 350 or a uh, little over $3 a piece if I'm doing my math right. And... Um, we're basically gonna do a lure review on them today, which basically means we're gonna fish them and see if anything will bite them. And then at the end of the video, I'll go more in depth on the lures, but for right now, we'll start off and just see if anything will bite these guys. It literally says, so like I said, uh, on Amazon, there is a lot of cheap things, and these are made in China, for sure. They're not, um, they've got some interesting marketing. It literally just says shrimp lures at the top, true send, shrimp lures and there is six of them in here the packaging on this thing is hilarious i'm going to read you some of the things here but the packaging is 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 really funny um so ultimately i'll, I'll pull these out of the box here but they're pre-rigged shrimp lures let's see what it says here we're going to review the packaging a little bit these are also um a little over a quarter of an ounce i think they're 0.3 ounces so it should be perfect for throwing like a medium rod for snook redfish and stuff like that but Made from durable TPE, ultra tough and stretchy material and rigged with internal jig head. Lifelike segmented body shape and subtle vibrating legs. Has a little uh, picture of the shrimp there. Um, but listen to some of the things it says here. It says caution, not edible, no littering, only for fishing, as if you're going to use it for anything else. Keep out of reach of children. That is actually important. You should you should definitely try to keep lures out of the re out of the reach of children. And then look at this here under caution. It says make sure nobody around while using. What does that mean? Make sure nobody around while using. Nobody's gonna be around today, so I think we're good. We shouldn't we shouldn't have any problems. And then it says, do not mix with any rubber and PVC materials. I'm assuming because the colors will probably leach into the other baits and, and maybe make them melt. I don't know specifically, but very interesting. Very pretty basic packaging there. And we'll definitely make sure nobody round while using today. So let's go ahead and take them out real quick. I'll show you guys a couple, color, couple of the colors here and I'll rig up two of them. The colors are really neat, I must say. Let me see if I can get this thing open. Also, one thing while I'm getting it open here, it says, by coupling a properly positioned keel weight with our naturally true send tech material, the balance, posture, and sink rate are all well controlled. It allows you to work this lure through snags with confidence. Through snags, okay. All right, so they're, they're hyping it up a bit on the box. I'm excited here, I'm excited. Check this out, let me see if I can show you guys all the colors. Look at that. These are really cool looking. So there's two colors that immediately look good to me. Ultra realistic. Look at this thing. Ultra realistic. It also says on the packaging it uses a VMC hook. So hopefully a quality hook here. But how about that? The bottom, the side profile, the back. And even if you guys can see here on the camera, they have these little like hair-like uh, antennas that look super real. So there's a green color, there's orange, there's some crazy colors. I'll probably try to throw all of them today, but check that out. For $3.33, that ain't too bad. And if I didn't say it before, you guys can grab these in the link in the description, but all a bunch of really neat colors. Even, I mean, this one will definitely work. It is super natural. But yeah, I think enough talking. I'm gonna tie up two of these colors on two of my rods today and uh, we'll throw them around on 30 pound mono and see what'll bite, but oh, I am excited for these. This is going to be a very inter interesting lure review. Let's uh, let's get tied up and let's get throwing. Let's see what we can get. All right, so real quick, the colors I decided to go with are this orange color, which, which is also translucent. Actually, I should call it clear. Um, and then this color right here, which is a bit like a very 
uh, bright green, but all of them are pretty clear. They just have t hints of color, I should say. So there we go. I'll tie these up and um, let's do it. Ooh, there's a sheep's head right there. I wonder if he'll bite. Oh, there it is. Oh, not what I was expecting, man. It's a fish. I was so set on that being a sheep's head after dropping it down under him. I was like, oh my gosh, sheep's head's going to pick this up. But first fish of the day, just a small jack. Just a small jack. So the lure does hold fish. That's good. Drop this guy back. All right. So we, we definitely can say that the lure works. Um, caught a fish on it. Now that isn't best fish ever, mainly because he's little. If I caught a 50 incher, I might consider that pretty awesome. But I'm going to go ahead and retie here and uh, we're going to keep looking. We need to find some snook, reds, trout. We'll see. I definitely like the action of it. It is very interesting. That's not good. That's not good. That was a bluefish. Uh, he'll cut me if I'm not careful. Actually, he'll cut me even if I am careful. Second fish there. I was about to pull the lure out of the water. Bluefish came up and smoked it. Let's see. Let's see if I can land him here. This would be a second species. Ooh! He's jumping like crazy. I'm very surprised he hasn't cut me off. They have razor sharp teeth. That'll cut off even heavy leaders. <sighs> Two species so far. Come on, get in here, get in here. These guys are pretty strong. They put up an interesting fight. Race all around the boat. They get pretty big too, just not really where I live. Ooh. How do I do this here? Whew. Second fish of the day, a blue fish. Not quite what we're looking for, but that'll work. See if I can pop this out here without getting my finger bit off. Launch him back in. See how we're doing. We are ultra afraid. Super frayed. The lure's good, though. I mean, it is stretchy and durable. I can give it that after a bluefish and a jack. So, I mean, a snook and a redfish ain't going to beat it up any more than those two fish will. But I'll take it. I'll take it. we got to retie again. Oh, there's a fish right there. There it is. There it is. Just as I was saying, I'm, I'm thinking, man, how have I not caught a snook yet today? Little guy, I'll take it. All right, so it does in fact catch snook. That is a little, maybe 12 inch or there. Send them back. And uh, yeah, three fish down on this, still looking good. Stretchy and not really broken at all. Looks like one of the uh, antennas broke, but I don't think that's a big deal. And I'll take it. That's the first I'd consider game fish. At least fish that's a snook, redfish, trout, or tarpon. But looks good so far. I think we're going to get into them here. I just need the sun to come up so I can see better. something waked on it another little dinky snook here i feel like i should be catching more of these to be honest i found some beautiful water i mean loaded with glass minnows but haven't found too many bites but i'll take it there maybe i'm just getting into them right now Let's see what we do. Woo! don't want to get cut with this gill plate all right a little bit bigger upgrade than the last snook this guy's probably 14 inches 
send him back on his way. There's this little cut right here, if you guys can see it, just past the trolling motor. I think I'm gonna try to slide in there. So I got, there's this cove right here and then this cut that goes back in there and there's bait all up under all of this. And uh, I got that snook right on that point there. So I think I'm maybe gonna try to creep up under these trees here in the Ginu and I don't know, maybe there could be something decent back in there. Turns into a nice little pond back here. There's gotta be some snook in here, right? Gotta be. Hmm. Well, nothing really in this back little saltwater pond here. Little cut. Look good, but nothing really. Well, I guess it's just gonna be like that today. I don't know where the decent sized snook are. I'm throwing up into all good looking stuff and I'm just getting, what is this, my fourth? snook that's maybe 12 inches so kind of a slow day so far but a lot of the days i catch my biggest fish i catch them about one two o'clock anyway so i got time here no problem There it is. Finally, a decent one from under the dock. Whew, felt that thump and just don't. Stay on, stay on. Finally, a decent fish today, man. All the little dinks around. This guy's not huge, but. Not huge. We literally just came off literally just came off as I grabbed him there probably a 22 inch snook this is the biggest fish I found today and uh, that one came on the more the green colored one but uh, I'm gonna lay this guy back on this one here this is that like greenish colored one it is late in the day now um, 12 o'clock not a whole lot today not a whole lot we caught what, like four little dink snook a little jack and a little bluefish um, but literally anytime I get like around docks I find the snook so I spent probably too much time today fishing mangroves and I've seen been through like a dozen docks and it's like every dock has snook on it so I'll try to focus snook or focus docks for the rest of the day so we can find some more snook but that was a decent one keep flipping these docks and uh, get some more bites there is a giant snook or a tarpon underneath this dock. Tarpon, I think. Yep, tarpon on it. Let's see if we can get. Oh! Oh! I missed the bite. I missed the bite. I totally messed up that bite. Oh, I messed that. Oh, he's under it. Oh, I messed that bite up really badly. There's something right here. Snook. Oh, tarpon. Oh, big tarpon just tried to eat it. So I found this giant old boat here with tarpon underneath it. There's one back there and there was a couple under the boat that swung on me, but I'm gonna try to put a cast on the one that's back there. There's, oh, I see two now back there. All right, definitely don't do that. I don't know if I, oh, tarpon under it. Yep, he just ate it. Yep. There it is. Oh, oh no, he threw it. He threw it. Oh. <laughs> All right, there we go. We got some tarpon. They ate it, just didn't hold. That's pretty normal for tarpon though. Can't really blame the lure for that. Oh, I nailed this metal pole here on the first cast. 
All right, well, there's some real action. We just got the snook. I saw a big snook and uh, then found these tarpon. I think they'll pop back up. Let me slide around to the other side of this boat and head over that to that side and see if I can get another bite. Oh, there's one so far back there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something between. Oh, that was a terrible cast. Let me pick that up. That's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to go around here. Oh, they're back up under there in the, in the in the darkness of the dock. Oh, here's one right here in the shadow. See if he eats. Yep, all over it. Inhaled it. There it is. Decent one. That's a pretty big one, actually. Oh no, this is not good. He's under the boat. <laughs> I'm in the tree. I'm in the tree. Oh, he's jumping into the dog. On the Amazon shrimp. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm going to land this fish. Just don't jump in the boat. <laughs> Let me back up here. Hold on, hold on. Oh. Dude! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's like a maybe a 10, 15 pounder. Oh. I can't believe that. Just swam up and just inhaled it. Nice fish. Quick wrangle around and through the docks there. Nice fish. <laughs> On the Amazon shrimp. That's crazy. All right. Man, a lot of chaos right there. I can't believe this fish is stuck this, this long. Just don't jump into the boat and don't jump into the trees. Oh. Got him right on the button, right in the nose. Right in the nose. How about that? Like I was saying, starting to heat up late in the day. Starting to find the fish once the sun comes up. I think they start to just start floating up to the surface and I can see them better. Compared to the morning when they're just chilling wherever they might be. Alright, let me see if I can land this guy. Yeah, he's about a 10 pounder. I have not grabbed a tarpon in a while. Ooh. I think the last harpin I caught was like a full size one off the beach on my Ginu. And that was in the summer last year, so. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on. Just pinned his mouth closed. He won't open it. <sighs> All right, we got him that time. Trying not to get the the shrimp in my finger there. Got him right in the button. Right in there. All right, we're gonna do a quick release on this guy. Nice, yeah, about a nice ten pounder sitting there in the shade. Beautiful tarpon. Spin him around here. Get him. <laughs> awesome. That was awesome. Oh, absolutely soaked me that that uh, late in the fight there when I was trying to grab him. Got a little tangled up here, but yeah, I don't have any names for any of these colors, but we'll just call this one, uh, let's just make up one. How about watermelon? We'll name this one watermelon. I mean, I guess it is orange, chartreuse, green, blue. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, well, y'all already know it is lunchtime on the channel, and uh, it's been kind of slow the past 30 minutes, and I ran into those tarpon. I have had a few swing and, swing and misses with fish, and we've caught a bunch of fish today as well. So what my plan to do here is to eat, the eat my lunch and then pop back into a few of the areas where I had success earlier in the day. I, I fished all over the place today, mangroves, docks, points all sorts of stuff and i'll just pop back into a few of the spots where i had success i'm also going to throw on a different color that i haven't tried yet today i don't know which one it is i'm about to figure that out here in a second but for right now i'm about to chew
ham and cheese. All right, I'll see you guys here in a minute when uh, back on the back uh, on the docks and stuff looking for fish. So. No way. That is weird. This might be the final fish of the day. Just the timing of that. I nailed the dock piling right there. I mean, absolutely nailed it. And before I could even, like, start to reel, a fish had the shrimp in its mouth there. Check that out. That is a keeper mangrove. I'm going to put him back in the water there. But that was like an instant eat when this thing hit the water. All right, guys, well, I am pretty much beat. It is three o'clock right now, and uh, means I've been fishing a very long time. So yeah, I fished so hard today. My trolling motor battery is pretty much dead, which that never happens in a, in a single day of fishing, but I moved around a lot today and fished a lot, made thousands of casts, probably at least a thousand with this guy right here. This is that, uh, that Amazon shrimp lure. That's what I'm gonna call it. I, it has a more, uh, uh, longer name, but if you guys want to try these out link in the top of the description probably be one in the comments as well I was pretty impressed for $20. You get six of them all six different colors um, Here's one of the ones I caught. I think this is what I caught the tarpon on right here I called it watermelon um, You get six different colors six different baits and that comes down to I think 333 uh, a lure that's pretty dang cheap um, as far as things to complain about on them, I, I do got to complain uh, about these bellies. Like the belly is actually just the, the keel or the weight inside the shrimp that you can see through the shrimp and see it. But these bellies are like such super bright colors that I feel like when the shrimp, when you can see through the shrimp, all you see is that bright belly and it looks just like a little egg shooting through the water. I don't know if fish can see the shrimp that well, but hey, they're really, really cool. I have really nothing bad to say about them. They worked just about as I expected. They have pretty decent action, just like any other shrimp lure. The tail flutters, and they pretty much just go in a straight line, and, and they'll do whatever you do, whether you're jigging them or what, they'll pretty much react to that. And um, I think that is it. We didn't really find that giant fish today. That tarpon was definitely the highlight of the day. I would like to get a decent snook in there, but I just couldn't find them. I, I had a couple follow, but that's about it. Didn't get any bites from any bigger snook, but yeah, solid day. It's definitely getting hotter and hotter because I'm pretty worn out and I feel burnt or I feel really hot right now. So I think it's time for me to get home. Thank you guys so much for watching today. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please give, uh, give this video a like and also subscribe. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in that next video.